Okay, after we already installed the RIP software to the computer, and also we insert the dongle key to the computer, and also we already follow the user manual to set the original, set the spot channel picture with spot channel from Photoshop, then we can start to RIP a file. Before we RIP a file, we can double check the picture if it has spot channel. So we, we can also follow the test print file from the USB flash, and we find that here have must be already have created some pictures processed pictures from Photoshop with the spot channel. So we can open the Photoshop and double check it. For example, this one, this picture. From this picture, we can see it have a spot channel with black. So we go to check the layer. And here we already have a black layer. With black layer. This one, we go to channel. We can see here have uh, white channel. This is spot channel. And here have a KCM1 for color layer printer. So this is the color layer, this is the white layer. When we click off, we can see this uh, color layer on, on the bottom and the white layer on the top. And uh, we see another fire to check. So for example, this picture, we already have the color layer and what layer spot channel from here. So let me introduce, tell you again, teach you again how to set the spot channel. We delete the channel and we, for example, this original picture like this. If we want to create a spot channel, we just choose the empty area and then we select similar and reverse select. I will choose the, this area with, with color pixel. Then we go to channel and choose this icon. And then here I have a create new spot channel. Must choose new spot channel. We put by wire, wire channel. This is for what? And uh, we input with KCMY, CMYK over 100%. For big is the Y in density. Then choose yes. Then the, the story, we put 100%. Then we click yes. So this is a layer we set up for white ink print. After that, then we go to file. We save as TIFF, TIFF format. Then click yes. So this the procedure to set up the the layer for spot channel for white. For print on the film DTF print, we don't need to do the grayscale printing. Grayscale says set. We just put flow with white. Even the picture have some grayscale, but for print with pure white, we just uh, Fear all for all position with white, any pixel with color image. So after we set, then we go to open the RIP software. Also, don't forget we insert the dongle key ready. Here, I don't have any on the top. I don't have any demonstration mark. Then we go to import. We choose the file we want to print after we set. Also, we can go to find out the USB flash and here have some uh, pictures already processed from Photoshop. We choose, for example, I will choose four pictures.
and we put the size 150. And also we go to rip and we set the carbon size by 60 centimeter times 1.2 meters or, or longer as you want. And then we select move the file and we select or the set choose all and then go choose output setting 150. After that we can go to here to make it with the mineral or by this mineral. Center the top and the bottom. Then here we are all at the middle. Automatic layer position for you. And we must be sure that picture we are not bigger than the edge of the printing, printing cabins. If it's over like this, then the edge will not print. Also, we can do some setting. We can copy or load another file. We import another four files, any files you want to print. And also, we can choose that and we set the Split the gap is 10. Always set as 100. If it is bigger, we just set by 120. Just to be sure the image is smaller. We just put that 100 like this. Horizontal gap, we choose 10 millimeter. With that, we can. Make it bigger by 150 and try again, like this. The gap we must choose bigger. Twenty or fifteen. We also make, can make it a group, as group. Then we can adjust the size as you want, as we want. This offer adjust the size. We can also set the output size by 120 and the gap for 10 for each. And also we can set it as group. And also after we set a group, we can right click and ungroup it. And then we can select all of them and we can press Ctrl and C and then Ctrl and V to copy it. Like this. Master B recommended you to make a bigger gap between each picture because after print we can we need to cut down each pic each each pic copies by scissors to transfer on the on the t-shirt. And also, you, if we print the long files, we no we no need to put long file from the rip. We can set the white copies more copies by two or three or four copies from the control software later, because if we put the picture from here for longer, longer same picture but longer copies, it will cost too much time for ripping. So if we set more copies from the control software, it will have a more faster process speed. So after we set, put all the picture from here, then we can go to spot channel. Here, if we already if we already set up the spot channel from Photoshop, from here, from Photoshop here, then we here we need to choose spot channel. If we not set the spot channel from Photoshop, but we but also we want to print the film with white ink, but so we need to change choose the image density, image base. But this way, the RIP will detect to create a white layer, automatic, 
automatically from the RIP software. But by this way, the, the detect result will not be the, not good as good as we create a spot channel from Photoshop. Especially your picture with high resolution. If low resolution, if you have some must have some square edge, but not clear edge for print out the quality. So here we choose spot channel as must be recommended. But you need to refer to the user manual totally video to learn how to create a spot channel for best printing quality. Then here, the density increase we put to 100 for a bigger white ink density. This spot channel is for white, but not for color. The color layer will automatically load to the rib, no need to set spot channel. So this is only for white ink spot. And here, we choose the half toning type. We choose the larger and the middle, middle dot for white ink density because we need the bigger white ink density for get a good recovery, recoverance. So we choose the larger middle dot. And here the breathing, the breathing is for spread because if we don't have good alignment, but we print the white ink on the top of the color ink, then it will have the overlap a little bit. So for better quality, we can set here for minus 0.15 millimeter or bigger or small. But if you print a small verse, your picture have some small verse or small area. So here cannot put too much number. Otherwise, the words will be cut down and I cannot see a good white ink print. So normally we just put the 0 minus 1 or 0 minus 0 5 or 0 minus 15 millimeter. Then we place OK. After we set spot channel, and then we go to choose print. And here we have a different acidity profile, also have different amount of the ink. So print on the film. If you print on a film and also the ink you purchase bought from Focus Incorporation Company. So must be recommend you to take the this normal film, 720 times 1800 DPI resolution. If you want darker, more dark printing quality, then you choose this ICC profile. So normally we just choose this one for high speed and resolution print. That goes to IB and PET, DT, PET ink normal and film, DTF film print, 720 times 1800 DPI resolution. And here the color order is KCM Y plus wet spot channel and as sent we rip by fire fire model renamed by custom name here at we choose all the setting then we choose the horizontal mineral like this otherwise when we transfer to the material we have the wrong direction then we choose print And we choose a folder to save the file after rip. For example, we save to desk and we choose full size. Test the print. And here the file name, we cannot put the special character. We just put number or the character and then we choose save then the rib start to processing the rib rip the file here the speed is depend the process speed is according to your picture memory and also according to your computer configuration also also according to the the file length, the file file size, the more small size, the speed will be more quicker. So after it finish 
we can go to open the control software and reload the PRN file to print. Just uh, be sure check the the rip the file after rip is p is dot prn format, and the file reload to print is tiff tiff format with support channel set from Photoshop. And just remember, pay attention to that. Different ink have different ICC profile. So if you don't have experience or professional knowledge, please bought buy the ink from Focus. Because if you bought the ink from local market or other brands, you need to have the special ICC profile from here that match match with the ink otherwise the printing quality the car the car will be not original as the original picture so this is very important Okay, so we got the fire finished by 100%. Then we go to the desk, we find out here we have got one first set test print PR, PRN format. PRN format. So this is the file. After RIP, we can load this file to the control software later for printing. So this is the old procedure to RIP a file for the Focus Nebula DTF printer using. 